I think that when you know when you have a loved one, you have to look at what kind of conditions do they have. Are they disabled or uh, can they now emulate on their own? You have to also look at inside your home to see um, how do you make it more accessible. You have to be very concerned about someone getting in and out of a tub. Do they now have that ability? Could they fall and injure themselves? You may have to have a special bed for them. So if someone, if you're a single caregiver and uh, the person you're care, caring for uh, may weigh more, then you have the ability to sometimes pick them up. You have to be trained how to do this without injuring yourself, your back, or other areas when you're lifting someone or you're assisting someone. So a lot of training uh, is involved in taking care of a loved one that you don't injure them in the process, but you don't injure yourself as well. So I think especially with dementia, but any instance of caregiving, having a care plan, understanding kind of what the process is gonna be, what does the disease process it looks like, and then what do you go, what goes along with that, what kinds of systems are in place to help you with that. Trying to be as prepared as possible for each step along the way can make a huge difference for caregiver well-being, but also for the person you're taking care of. What's most important is just understanding that there's no right or wrong. It's what is the next best decision to make. For some of those trying to maintain their loved one in their house, and their home, and others find that they need to bring in extra support, and still others find that oftentimes they have to consider alternative placement. And again, all of those choices will unfold as the situation presents itself for the needs of their caregiver as their loved one.